Estimated time of arrival, practice problem three. It says, at 11.03, you are in the entrance to Great Salt Pond on Block Island with buoy five close aboard. What is your ETA at light one at the mouth of the approaches to Lake Montauk if you make good 8.2 knots? So we are starting here, Great Salt Pond. This is buoy five, right? It's green. We have green can number five. And then it says we're going to light one at the mouth of the approaches to Lake Montauk. Okay, I know Lake Montauk is here. And here is light one. Flashes green every four seconds, 28 feet tall. You can see it from seven miles when the visibility is 10 and it's number one. So we're going from Great Salt Pond to the entrance to Lake Montauk. ETA problem here. So we are looking at, we're gonna have a, a distance, a speed, and a time. These are the three factors we'll be working with. And now it's, it gives us our speed. If you make good 8.2 knots, speed is 8.2 nautical miles per hour, right? That's what knots is. And we can get a distance, and with speed and distance, we can get a time, and then we can, we can manipulate that time and add it to the time we left and get our estimated time of arrival. So let's get this distance. This distance, we're going from. Okay, it's not quite long enough, right? We're gonna stretch them out, make sure they touch. I'm gonna put my pencil here, line it up with Lake Montauk, strike the beginning of that line, strike the end of that line. Now we can connect these two right on the line. Okay, now we have a line from buoy five to the entrance to Lake Montauk, light one, close the board. I'm going to take my dividers and get five nautical miles off of the latitude scale. Always use the latitude scale. And go from five, here buoy five, Great Salt Pond, down the line, five, 10, 15 plus what's left over, this much, 15, 16, 17.3 is our distance. Our distance is 17.3 nautical miles. Now we can find a time, right? If we use this D street, if you're not comfortable with this, you can say time is equal to distance divided by speed. So distance divided by speed is equal to time. Our distance is 17.3 nautical miles. Our speed is 18 or is 8.2 nautical miles per hour. These are going to cancel. You're going to be left with hours. So 17.3 divided by 8.2 equals clear. 17.3 divided by 8.2 equals 2.1109. So 2.1 hours, right? This is important. This is where people get confused. It's 2.1 hours. We need to add 2.1 hours to the time we left, right? It's going to take us 2.1 hours. So we're going to get our ETA. We left at 11.03. 11.03. Now we can't add 2.1 hours to 11.03. We'd get 13.1 hours in three minutes. So we need to convert this 0.1 hours, 0.1 hours times 60 equals, we're converting this 0.1 hours to minutes. Clear, 0.1 times 60 equals six, six minutes. So now we have two hours and six minutes. Two hours, six minutes 
We've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 1309. Our ETA is 1309. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, look at this. Three. We have 1310, which is D. And that's the closest one to us, so let's take a look. Three is D. Here we have answer three is D. We got it correct. So the answer to estimated time of arrival, practice problem three, is 1309, which our closest answer was 1310. The answer is D.